Hi guys, it's me, Carib. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm not in my usual sport spot recording this video, and I'm I'm not gonna try to make this perfect. I'm here just to talk to you about where I am. I know a few videos well enough. I talked to you about the big A anxiety, and you know I I'm just here to give you an update as to how I'm doing and what I'm feeling and how I'm taking steps to uh, take better control of my life <laughs> i feel like when um whenever we say anxiety people automatically assume somebody somewhere is crazy and that is really unfortunate right you know coming from the caribbean mental health issues they're never really discussed and i'm i'm hesitant to say mental health issues everyone okay no matter how people make you feel everyone experiences some sort of anxiety from time to time and if you do not control your anxiety you can seriously de develop depression and knock on wood I'm not there I took some steps to make sure that I'm taking care of me I feel like you know the best way I can put this people with anxiety are just people who worry a little bit more than the average now in my previous videos I mentioned that at the time I started dealing with this there was a big shift in in my life my, okay my personal life within my family and um, it's not anything I care to get into details about I wasn't harmed in any way I'm afraid when I say that people think I was attacked or something like that but that's not what happened it was just um, a situation where I would have possibly been in a situation within the family that I wasn't really fully prepared for and on top of that I was pregnant so on top of all that was going on I was also pregnant and honestly only pregnant women know how scary yet exciting the whole pregnancy journey can be and so I was trying to figure out okay how am I gonna do this and how am I gonna do that and it became an issue of waking up and going to bed every single day with the same issue on my mind i was really really worried 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 about undertaking new roles as a new mother or mother to be and also these other roles that would have been um coming my way and for some reason things just kind of played out but unfortunately because my mind was in overdrive I I really went downhill and so the symptoms started manifesting in 2017 after giving birth to Ebony um, and so 2018 was also very rough so I can tell you that today I feel 85% better I would like to say I'm 100% better but then I'll be lying okay I'll be lying um, I do have more significant or debilitating symptoms. So for example, um, I made a video on my neck, my head pressure. Literally, it feels like something is crushing down on your head. People with anxiety know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And with that comes the muscle tension in the neck, shoulders, and it's very debilitating. You know, I would, the only way I would have survived today is if I put my hand right here and apply pressure. And I guess that now I know what that was doing was releasing the, the knots in my my muscles. So I'm not going to get into all of that physiology, but um, needless to say, the way I dealt with that was by getting deep tissue massages. So these weren't relaxing massages and they were by no means a luxury. This was a necessity. I needed to go in and get this worked on get my muscle knots worked on. I did that once to two times a month and I did that consistently for months. So, because to me, for me, it's a necessity. Um, I found a good sports massage therapist and she's amazing. You know, she's very good at finding those knots and releasing those knots. And, you know, it's, it's just, it's amazing what that did for me. I assure you that head pressure is not anything wrong with your head if you need the reassurance go ahead and do that but I got like an MRI I got scans I did all of that I did everything someone with anxiety would have done 
and everything checks out fine. But if you're always in doubt, go ahead and get the reassurance that you need. So anyway, um, that was one way I dealt with that. But consequently, um, I developed tension headaches as well from late 2017 to 2018. The tension headaches were really bad. Every week I was dealing with a tension headache. And consequently, I developed migraines as well. And the migraines got progressively worse when I got back on a menstrual cycle because I didn't have one of those for almost three years. I breastfed for two years, and that's another story for another day. But when they came back, my migraines were... they. They came back as well and they were absolutely horrible and on top of the hormonal changes i also experienced barometric migraines so in addition to the massages i started taking magnesium i did some research and um a homeopathic or naturopathic doctor recommended magnesium and i had to research i tried every magnesium on the planet magnesium calm you know, you can find this at Walmart or any store. Works very, very well for helping me to get deeper sleep. And um, it really does what it says. It calms you down. It relaxes you. But then I found this really good brand by Pure Encapsulation or Encapsulated on Amazon. And I'm going to link these products below. And so it's magnesium glycinate. And I find that when I alternate magnesium glycinate with magnesium citrate, that really helps me. Magnesium oxide, I stay away from that because it's a laxative. Magnesium by itself is a laxative, and that's not what I'm looking for. But um, I'm not here giving you medical advice. I'm just saying if you really do experience the knots and tension and you feel like you're being held tightly um, when you're stressed out, it's tension. It's nothing to really fear. It's debilitating, but it's tension. But, you know, it took about two months for the magnesium to really start working, and that really that was a game changer for me with my tension and migraine headaches um it's been a stretch i haven't had a migraine for about a month and you know i would experience them every week every two weeks um i'm not saying it'll never come back i don't know and i remember the worst migraine i ever had lasted for about five days and i made a video on my migraines so check that out i'll try to link it um underneath this video so that was debilitating symptom number one. I do experience the tension and pressure, pain, aches and pain from time to time, especially when I'm a little bit more stressed out. The second thing I did um, well, that I experienced was whooshing in my ear as far as debilitating symptom. Um, it's tinnitus or tinnitus, but mine wasn't a ringing. Mine was a whoosh, whoosh in tune with my heartbeat. And of course, the fear of having a, some aneurysm or a twisted artery or something with my circulation flew off the roof like I was so worried about that so I started taking something to help with my circulation so I turned to kaiolic garlic for circulation and maybe that did something but I was doing some research and I came across YouTube you know that's the beauty of being on YouTube you do find a community you find people with similar experiences and I know they say do not go to the internet but you know what YouTube and finding people with the same issues really brought some comfort to me and you know I I really see the good in that. Um, so this guy, his name is Mario, I'm going to link his channel, mentioned taking vitamin D3 and he noticed that his tinnitus um, subsided tremendously. So I started doing that and it's been about two months since I've been taking D3 in conjunction with K2. I take the, brand, the one by Go Nutrients because they put everything together. You don't want to take D3 without K2. Um, but I noticed like a month ago, the whooshing subsided and I take the lowest, safest dose I possibly can. Okay. Um, and for a while, for two weeks, I didn't have any whooshing and it was so amazing. The silence was so amazing for me. And I was so happy to have that because it, this started probably around September last year of 2018 and it just continued all the way through the new year of 2019. But when I, when I upped my D3 intake, that whooshing subsided. What I learned later on, magnesium does help with the absorption of D3 and that wasn't something I knew, but I guess everything just kind of fell in place. So I'm continuing to do that. I'm not here to advise you to supplement on your own. Make sure you check in with your physician or whoever, your healthcare provider to check your levels and all of that. Um, the thing about it, when you're dark skin, 
it takes double the time or exposure um, in the natural sunlight to get your vitamin three up because our mel melanin is a natural sunblock. So it, you know, if you're dark skin, you need to be exposed a little bit longer than the average. So I did that and that really helped. And then the last thing I did, um, you know, I was really concerned about my vision. I had a lot of floaters. I always had a floater here and there, but I noticed when my anxiety became a thing that the number of floaters increased. But when I changed around my diet, I started adding in more green leafy vegetables, um, more plant, going more plant-based. I do consume meat. I'm not vegan or vegetarian in any way. Um, I switch my protein from whey to a plant-based protein, but that's just a personal choice. And drinking more water and, you know, using less refined foods. You guys know I try to eat healthy. If you know the history of my channel, you know I promote that, all of that. But I had to dig deeper and really make bigger changes. Um, I'm not perfect with my diet in any way, but when I made those changes, I noticed that the vision got a little bit better. You know, I drink the carrot juice every morning, you know, for the beta carotene and I add more green leafy vegetables and that really helped. And then the last big thing that really helped me with my anxiety was just learning how to meditate. I know it sounds like some kind of hippie kind of thing, but there is merit in meditation and what it teaches you is to compartmentalize your worries, your problems. We're all gonna have issues. We all do. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I am a teacher. Trust me, I have, I worry. But I had to learn how to compartmentalize and not let my mind race the way it was racing and not worry, overly worry about things that I couldn't control at the moment. Um, there was always a solution and I simply needed to learn how to work through those issues and work on the solution. Um, meditation is powerful. It calms your mind. It teaches you how to compartmentalize. It teaches you how to breathe and focus on you and when not on you, on the things that truly matter at the moment. So give it a shot. For me, um, I really am big on that, making time for yourself, even if it's just 10 minutes a day to just slow down and unplug and reconnect. Some people go to therapy. I didn't go that route. Um, I didn't think it was necessary. I, I advocate self-help first, and I'm very proactive with that. So that made a world of a difference for me, meditation. And I really like it because it gives me a different perspective, you know. Um, other things, other supplements that I took um, included CoQ10. Your body naturally makes CoQ10 and vitamin E uh, together because the vitamin E helps with the oxidative stress and lowering the oxidative stress and the byproducts of that. It's an antioxidant. And CoQ10, you know, gets depleted as you age. And I also take... Um, B12 from Integrative Therapeutics. I find their products to be very pure and they help me. You know, I'm suggesting all of this and I want you to know that I've tried many of these products and I'm not promoting just pills. You have to make a complete lifestyle change. Um, there are some upsides to the anxiety and for one, I can tell you, it gives me a different perspective on life. I literally woke up one day, guys, and I felt different not in a favorable way. I struggled and I felt different and it was just months of buildup of stress and chronic stress and fatigue and whatever. Um, but it did give me a different perspective on life and how to balance off everything. So the other thing I'm going to say, um, get out there, you know, drink a lot of water, um, connect with yourself and Take care of yourself. You know, I do feel 85% better. My business is doing well. You know, I started a new business. I made some big changes in life, my personal life. And um, I definitely would like to hear what you guys, uh, how you're dealing with your anxiety if this video relates to you. And I'll definitely be back with the fitness stuff. I think sometimes it's important to share the other stuff on the channel as well. So until next time, peace, and I look forward to reading your comments, and I love you guys. I appreciate it. Bye.